About a year ago, I made a review about a online tailored clothing service called M Tailor. That video was super general. This video is going to go a little bit more in depth. That one, I just kind of knew that I was excited about this thing and I wanted to share it. Now I have a little bit more perspective on it, having worn the shirts for about a year and uh, also had the service and kind of received a bunch of comments about it. The previous video actually ended up being one of my most viewed, actually my most viewed video on this channel. Um, it's my most viewed video that isn't a movie video. I used to do video game video, YouTube videos and I used to, I do music videos. Some of those have gotten a lot more views, but as far as just a general video that I've made, this uh, M. Taylor video that I made was by far the most viewed video, so that was kind of weird, uh, a weird phenomenon, so I figured I'd follow it up, and it was also by far my most commented video. Uh, <laughs> Funny enough, almost all of the comments were bad. Just kidding, there were definitely some positive comments, but there were definitely a lot of basically the meanest comments I've ever gotten on a video. And I used to do YouTube gaming videos and those people are mean, uh, but apparently the fashion world is way meaner. At first I was a little annoyed and I tried to like fight back, you know, uh, but pretty quickly I just thought it was funny. One of my favorite ones is shirt looks like you're bit about the sleeves only being a little shirt, shirt, short. About the sleeves being only a little shirt is telling. You're clearly shilling for M. Taylor. This isn't even a review. A shill? A shill? To be fair, I did share a referral code in the description, like the one that's in this video. It's something that a lot of apps do. They have a free referral code that anybody can use. There was another comment that was, he found M. Taylor, yet he has a referral code. What a lying piece of <coughs> It's clearly covertly sponsored. Uh, that person has since removed that comment, but I got a screenshot, don't worry. But yeah, no, it wasn't covertly sponsored. M. Taylor never contacted me about anything. I did find M. Taylor actually through an ad on Instagram. Everybody has a referral code. It gives a discount to people joining the service, so you get a chance to try it with a discount and it also gives the person referring a discount so that they have an incentive to refer people. It's a pretty common tactic with apps. I don't know how people don't know that, but whatever. I guess you could consider me a bit of a shill for M. Taylor, but would a shill do this? Also this. Yeah, so I have two pairs of shirts that ripped right in the sleeve. The only reason I still have these because I still wear them under my suit jacket sometime, don't tell anybody. But yeah, so that's not cool. This shirt and this uh, darker one, this was my favorite one, uh, both. That one ripped first, then this one ripped immediately afterwards. Now that I've cleared that up, now that you can stop calling me a shill because everyone has a referral code, stop freaking out about it. I'm gonna get back to actually reviewing this. I'm going to jump on the phone to show you real quick what the M. Taylor app is and how it works in case you haven't used it before. It's kind of a cool thing, so I think that part is neat. I'm gonna jump on the phone right now to show you that. So we're gonna go to the App Store and go to M. Taylor. We're gonna type that into the search, and it should be the first thing that comes up. See here, um, there's some photos of the app. Interesting, they added women's clothes. That was a thing for a while. They have a pretty good rating, 4.7 out of five. People do like this app a lot, which is why I'm making this review again. I don't wanna just take my word for it um, and kind of give you some more experience that I've had. Uh, and as you see here, now they have women's jeans. I'm assuming they'll make more women's clothes. I'm gonna click on men's just because that's what I'm doing. You go through this kind of introduction thing here. They tell you about the measurement thing, which that really is kind of how it works. I'll show you that in a second. Enjoy the best fitting clothes in your closet. Uh, that's partially true. Um, and here's the 90 day perfect fit guarantee. This is something you absolutely need to take advantage of if you're gonna use this service. The free remakes, 100% full refund. If your shirt does not fit the way that you want it to, then get it fixed. Um, and you see they have jeans, suits, dress pants, blazers, short sleeve shirts, chinos. Uh, that's what the pants that I got. Uh, tees, I don't know why someone would pay for a t-shirt through this service. Shorts, um, I've heard the shorts are actually pretty nice and they have long sleeve t-shirts now too. Uh, I'm gonna click on shirts and you can just see, shirts especially, they have so many options. There's some really cool designs as you can see here. There's a lot of plaid, there's a lot of plain colors too, a lot of different variations on those plain colors. There's some really interesting plaid um, and there's some really interesting patterns too. I like some of the pattern ones. I've thought a couple times about getting one of those patterns I'm not 100% sure though because of the versatility with my ties. 
Um, and the orange is like the most obnoxious color orange, but some people might like that. The search patterns is cool. Um, you can search by pattern, you can search by color, you can search by styles. The uh, heavy fabric is the one that I said held up really well, so that's kind of the one that I would recommend most. Uh, this is a cool design, so we're going to go ahead and pretend we're going to purchase this. I uh, actually might buy this because I really like this color. Um, and you can see they kind of give you a suggestion there of what you could wear it with. And when you say customize, this is what it gives you. It lets you kind of choose all of the, like this is the collar. Uh, I like the button down collar. I'm gonna click that and say next. And then it allows you to pick the buttons. You can even do a French cuff. I like the two button angle. That's my favorite one. Uh, and you get to pick untucked or tucked. That's just kind of the length. I usually go with tucked, even though sometimes I do wear these shirts untucked. This is new monograms. So you could put your initials or someone's initials as a gift on the chest, on the cuffed or on the shirt tail. Uh, that's pretty, that's a pretty cool feature that they've added recently. I'm going to say no on that. Now you get to pick if there are pockets and you get to pick the button color. That's a kind of cool effect. If you have a watch that'll make the one side shorter than the other, do you want contrasting white collar and contrasting white cuff with blue? That would be a cool, you know, the classic blue and white look. Okay, so now that I have this in my cart, I can go ahead and see right there what it is. I'm gonna say get measured. I'll make you turn up your volume. And then, uh, yeah, it's gonna walk you through how to get measured in the app. So once you get to that point, you're setting the phone down and I'm going to step back. You have to spread your arms out fully and you're sh you should be wearing skin tight clothes or no clothes at all. And you spin around and after you spin around, the app kind of takes your measurements. It tells you whether or not it picked it up okay and it sends that. I don't think they actually keep the video on file. They pull the measurements from the video and then, which I'm assuming is an automated process, and then from there, they grab your measurements to use uh, and they send it to the people that are tailoring the shirts. And then they ship it to your house, you open it up, you try it on, and you really should try it on because they definitely get it wrong. I have this one shirt, the one that still hasn't busted through the uh, sleeves, uh, is way too small. It's too small around the waist. Actually, hold on, I'll just show you. <laughs> but yeah, so this shirt, it actually doesn't look too bad on camera, but you can see the sleeves are super small. They actually came like this, unlike those other ones through washing them, they eventually shrunk to that. This was immediately, I can't, you know, wear this sleeve like this. So again, I just rolled these sleeves up. I really should have sent this back though, because also it's super tight, uh, more so than I like it to be, which like standing up again, doesn't look too bad. It actually looks nice and fitted standing up. So as long as I'm standing up, I can wear it. And that's usually the only time I do wear it because if I sit down, it bulges here and you can see my undershirt there. The button comes undone. It's terrible. Uh, so standing up is not bad. I do keep it, but I should have sent this one back. I didn't because I'm lazy and I was busy. So definitely if you're going to order from M. Taylor, make sure to take advantage of the adjustments policy. Uh, I'll go through with the pants that I got real quick because I actually did get them adjusted. So moving on, then I decided that I was going to order some of the pants. I thought that was pretty cool that they had pants around $99, which for a pair of nice slacks is a pretty good price, especially tailor-made. And I loved some of the features. Uh, one of my favorite features, which I still think is really cool, is the threads. You can choose the color of the thread. So I wear a lot of blue. I have this one kind of very specific color that matches perfectly with the threads on the pants. No one's going to notice that, but it's a really nice touch. So I went ahead and I ordered them and I waited and waited and waited and waited. It took way longer to get the pants than it did to get the shirts. Now the shirts do take about a week, maybe two weeks to get the shirts, which if you're used to just walking in a store, buying something and taking it out, that's, you know, pretty slow. But if you've taken things to an actual alterations place or a tailor that's somewhere near you, you'll know that it does take a while to get things tailored usually. So that's not too surprising, especially because we know they're doing it overseas somewhere and shipping it back here. But one day I finally did get the package. I walked in and I was all excited. I took it upstairs, got excited, ripped open the package. They have a nice little letter in there, tried them on and I couldn't even get them. I could barely get them up over my calves and then I definitely couldn't get them over my waist. The calves were so tight. I have pretty small calves. So like the fact that they wouldn't fit, I was like, who would fit in these except for a child? The waist, again, I have a really small waist and it was 
an inch, maybe even two inches too small. I was like, I've never had that problem before. I'm trying to button something up and it wouldn't button. So I was kind of disappointed and I thought about just scrap it and say, all right, I'm done with them, Taylor. But I thought, you know, they do have free alterations or free adjustments. So I should take advantage of that. I actually did it because at the time I was going to make a video about it and I didn't end up making a video, which is, you know, I'm making a video now, so it doesn't matter. So I shot them an email, which is the only way that I could figure out how I could contact them to tell them that, yeah, it doesn't fit well. And then I waited. And again, it took them a, a while, quite a while to respond. It was only like three or four days, but that's a pretty slow customer service response. But they did eventually respond and they said, hey, like send us a picture with the pants on and tell us exactly where they need fixed and by how much, which is kind of frustrating because I'm not the tailor, you're supposed to be the tailor. I shouldn't have to tell you exactly where my adjustments need to be made. Although to be fair with a real tailor, that does happen too. So I tried it on, tried to put them on, even though I couldn't put them on, but I put them on as much as I could, had them unbuttoned, it looked real stupid. Sent them a picture so that they could see how stupid it looked. I asked for the legs to be loosened a little bit. Um, and the bottom of the legs like flared out really weird. So I asked those to be brought in. And then I asked the waist to be brought out an inch and a half, I think I said. And now they fit great. I mean, this is uh, pretty much exactly what I'm looking for in a pair of pants. Overall, they're great. They're nice and warm. After I sent them the email, it took them a while to respond again. And then they eventually sent back a thing and said, we're working on it. Don't worry about the pair of pants you have. Just donate those. So I did. I went and donated those. So it's no cost, no extra cost at all. Uh, it took maybe a week before they sent me the new pair and the new fit pair fit really well, like I said. Interestingly though, they started to wear out really quickly. There's kind of a hole forming right at the bottom of my pocket. I know that's because my phone goes in there, which my phone's kind of bulky for these tighter type pants. And I also put pens in that pocket. So it's constantly wearing against there. And I sit for work a lot, so it's really pushing against that a lot. But there's also snags all over the place where it's snagged on things. In general, it's faded, especially right around where my, you can see exactly where my phone goes. So that's not great. To be fair, that happens with almost all of the pants that I own. I have a couple from H&M actually that haven't done that. And those are the only ones actually that I have that haven't done that. I have some cheaper ones from H&M that have. So, I mean, what are you going to do? Overall, for how cheap the pants are, I still think they were a good price. I would give the M. Taylor app and using the service a uh, eh, maybe rating. The shirts are still relatively cheap for custom tailored shirts. Make sure to take advantage of the alterations that you can get once you get it back. Send it back if it doesn't fit perfectly. I suggest getting the sleeves a little bit longer because once you wash them once, they do shrink a little bit. And that way you can really get your money's worth for what you're paying for. And I really haven't tried other apps to compare it. This is the actual usage of the app. Uh, it's really easy to use and it really makes a lot of sense and it walks you right through it. Maybe at some point I will compare this to some other apps, but right now I haven't. Until then, I am going to go back to going to the physical location that does alterations. We have a couple of them in our area. I'm not a huge fan of going to them because I've never met one that's really friendly and it's annoying and you know i'm a millennial so i like to do everything online but at the end of the day i also would kind of like to be supporting my local businesses rather than the guy that's making probably a ton of money off of this app and also then outsourcing his work to what i'm assuming are underpaid tailors and they're coming from bangladesh so yeah that's i mean we all know how that all works it's the same if you order from h m it's kind of the nature of the beast. But if you're gonna get alterations, then try your local place first. But M. Taylor is a great option for people that are really busy that don't have time to do that. If you wanna try M. Taylor out, you can check out the referral code Chill. in the description and save 20% off of your first order. I'm gonna go read mean comments about my sideburns now uh, while stroking my beautiful sideburns. Wanna join me? All right, uh, Matthew Klaus says, is that pubic hair glued to your cheeks. <laughs> Chris S. says, I'm curious what kind of mental disorder compels somebody to have those ridiculous sideburns. It's absurd. Uh, anxiety, mostly. Dave M. says, that shirt looks as bad as those sideburns. I remember my first joke. Flash Rug1689 says, I look like Seth Rogen's little brother. Uh, I'll take it. Yeah. 
Paljas says, can M. Taylor shave your ugly sideburns through their app? Uh, no, I don't think they have that capability yet. <laughs> Mark Suggs Photography says, churn butter once or twice, living in an Amish paradise. It's funny because I actually do live around a bunch of Amish people, so maybe it's a cultural thing that wore off. DJ says Mira one says, I like your th sideburns. Thanks. Well, those are all the ones that didn't get deleted. Um, a lot of people deleted them right after they posted them. So thank you for watching. If you somehow have made it this far in this video, leave a comment down in the comments below, letting me know if you uh, tried out M Taylor, if you've had any issues, if you have any issues with the referral code uh, and give this video a thumbs up. If you appreciate the honest review, I'm not a shill. <laughs> Bye.